are asking the question, should you reprimand another person's child if they behave badly? I know it's that's, that's a danger, that is dangerous territory. Yeah, yeah. We're going toe to toe on this because recently on the show, Life's a Trip. Um, reality show with Bristol Palin and her three-year-old son. He called his aunt a word bad enough that it had to be beeped by censors. Uh, his mom's reaction was to laugh, but many viewers immediately took to Twitter and social media saying they wouldn't put up with that for a second. But what if it was your friend's child that was behaving badly? Would you speak up? Would you speak to the mother? Would you speak to the child? We've got, uh, well, we have one expert and somebody else who will certainly fancy himself an expert to discuss this. <laughs> the first guest uh, is a comedian. Game show Oh Sit premieres this week. And, of course, she's best known as the Super Nanny. Amazing. Welcome Jamie Kennedy and Joe Frost. Oh. say we could settle this very quickly and turn to my left, so I'm going to turn to my right. Jamie Kennedy. Uh, I appreciate you calling me an expert. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what do you think? Discipline the uh, somebody else's kid. Well, uh, first of all, you know, some people say, she said to me earlier backstage, Jamie, what do you know about kids? You don't have any children. And I said, I don't have any kids, but I have dated a lot of 21-year-olds. <laughs> Just saying. Here's the thing. There are no bad kids. There's bad parents. I agree with that. I agree with that. Just because he, need, he needed a clap line. Just, really needed needed a clap line. <laughs> just because you have the ability to have a child doesn't mean you have the ability to be a parent. Just because we all have tushies doesn't mean we can all be proctologists. I'm sorry. I, I was so right there until that last one. Sorry. <laughs> the super nanny for a reason. What do you yeah, mean, save us. Um, I just think it's really important to understand that when you're you know, telling a child off that, you know, the public have to, look, there's that saying, right, it takes a village to raise a child, but how come right now the village are feeling pressured to keep their mouth closed? You know, if our child is being bullied on the street, wouldn't we want to know that another adult would stop that behaviour if yes. we saw it? If we saw, you know, that kids were vandalising, wouldn't we want to step up as a community and stop it? And if we're in a playground and we see another child donk our child over the head in the sandbox, mm -hmm. wouldn't we want that parent to step forward and take responsibility in that well, behaviour? Yes, yes, yes. For right? all of them. But what if you are with the other parent, it's a girlfriend, and you see their kid not being nice to the other kids around, but right. the parent's right there. So Tricky situation. It is a tricky situation, but not if you're friends, not if you're hanging out together. There should be this unwritten rule that when you're together, you're looking after each other's kids with respect in bringing them up with the same uh, values and morals as well. That's great. You know, you should be able to do that, you know, and, ste and step in. And what you're saying, I mean, again, like child on child violence, let's stop that. But what about, Jamie, if they're just being like really obnoxious? Well, you know what? You're talking about something that got a little bit more serious. I'd like to talk about the airplane issue. Yeah. I fly a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get asked all the I time, fly, Jamie. I fly. The airplane issue is not It is a big thing. Usually first class because I can. Now, listen. Uh, you don't want to deal with the screaming kids on, in the back. No, not That's the kid. Why. You don't a baby. First of all, the baby is fresh out of the oven. Don't bring it on a plane. And the baby's sitting there going, eh, 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 eh. She's eating Cheetos, and I go, what? She goes, it's a baby. What you want me to do? It's a baby. <laughs> baby That's what baby be do. A baby cry. cry. That's what I do, and I have more Cheetos. What would you expect the woman to do? I took I the baby, because I was on the ghost whisperer. I took the baby, and I tried to <laughs> whisper to it. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. I knew he was going to say that. Oh, God, please stop crying. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Can you that. give us a piece of advice, though, when we're traveling? I just went through this. Listen. You know, I have, the, I have the same thing. I have airlines come up to me and they say to me, can you take care of the situation? I just think we've got to be a little bit more tolerant for the fact that kids are kids. They, yes. they are going to make noise. They are going to be heard. Yes. They are going to scream. But I think just as parents, if your kids are misbehaving, like, do your job. Do your job. Do your and, job. and be responsible for your kids' behavior, yeah. you know? Okay. You if you to. talk to me in that accent as a baby, I would start crying in a second. <laughs> So you can do all that. You can do all that. 
we could we could do it <laughs> together. Or um, you could just whisper to it. Whisper. <laughs>